the reason I'm filming now at this point is there's this, this tree here. I just want to see how hard it is to actually push one of these trees over. Um, I did try just now, and it was, it was, well, nothing was happening. It's quite rotten, uh, as you can see. Uh, don't try this at home, kids. Pushing it as hard as I can. Uh, I don't know. I guess the point, the point I'm trying to make here is it's very difficult to for the wind to simply blow them over. You can see the thickness of the tree compared to my uh, uh, size 12, so 11 half inches. So it's about a good 6 inches, 7 inches uh, wide, thick. I'm not going to try that again. <laughs> I was lucky there. And then you have this tree, which is Looks like it's still alive. Let's see if I can uh, get to the. Right, I just guess I'll just have to walk over it then. Let's see if I can get to the end of this tree. Let's see if it's. Uh, Pushed over. Oh, there we go. Just there. Doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it. Check if it's um, been sawn or. There's another one there. It doesn't look rotten. And it's about 12, 12 foot high, so I can't really get close, close to it. So, there we go. I hope the camera's getting this properly. <clears throat> Look at that, guys. Looks like somebody had a party. So we have an X. A one tree here going this way, and this tree here going slightly on an angle that way. And then we have another one crisscrossing in the middle, almost directly in the center. So we have an asterisk.
six, twelve. Making a thirty feet. Um, twenty-five, thirty feet up there. To this point, yeah. Not that that makes any difference, but. Wow. So guys, so I'm uh, I'm uphill now from this um, chaotic scene. Um, so once again, we have all this um, sign structure here in this um, sort of condensed area, and then we have behind me is uh, nothing. So I just thought that was uh, an interesting point. You know, why would there be all this chaos in this one area here? And then behind me and uh, further down there, it's basically nothing. I just found this tree. The, um, about nine foot of... Uh, Bark stripped off. Standing at the base now. I can't reach that. Only six foot. There's some of the back here. Uh, but I don't know where the rest of it's gone. <coughs> I think it's a bit too much for a squirrel to be taken away. There's a bent tree all the way up there meeting here and you have another one meeting in the middle bending all the way down there but both bent trees completely separate and with about 40 yards in the middle in between meeting in the middle there And then we have this huge X on the ground. But not just one, not just crossing with one or two trees, but there's one, two, three, four. Crossing in the middle. So it's probably an A or something. Yeah, it is an A. Actually, it's a giant. It's a giant A. What is it with A's? With um with two arches meeting in the, meeting in the middle here. <clears throat> so guys, we have another um, case of uh, um, big for craziness, chaotic scene here. All the bark is stripped off. This one. But um, this is not what I want to show you. The main thing is this magnificent display. You can just tell when someone, a Bigfoot, has created something. There's something just, you know, <laughs> a 
magical about it. You know, you just you just have really have to uh, appreciate that. <laughs> that the work that's gone into this. Seriously. <clears throat> This small, this this forest is not very big. Uh, <clears throat> to be honest with you, it's about less than a mile, uh, three quarters of a mile of a mile uh, square. Um, this is the other end of the pine forest. The other end was the first. Um, scene which I showed you guys and now I came to the other end and we have this so we have these two meeting in the middle this one here this one here and then we have the, the usual typical um, asterisk creation meeting in the center one always going across meeting in the middle for some reason they have to meet in the middle when they do this kind of thing <clears throat> it's pretty old as you can see um, um, it's, it's all they're all brown all the trees you can hear there's people down here um, walking on the path very close quite close to uh, to a town just through here you can see um, the light color I think that's houses I don't know maybe um, Oh, it's like a quarter of a mile or something. <clears throat> Have an egg, yeah? Like so. Not that that means anything. But I could, I don't know. <coughs> but this is uh, insane. Same again. Okay, we have these few fallen trees here in the background. Nothing major, and then suddenly we have this boom, big, huge, chaotic um, creation. <clears throat> Absolutely insane. Just tell the size of it. How long it takes me to walk around. You can hear my steps. Okay, I'm gonna switch off now. That's a dog. Take some photos of this beautiful thing. <clears throat> 